Hi kids, I'm Vivek and welcome to my show called MathWiz. Here, we're going to learn mathematics in a very funny way and it's very easy to. Today, we're going to learn tables up to 10 in a very, very funny way. I'm going to teach you some techniques where you don't have to learn more than tables up to 5. So, most of you waste a lot of time learning tables up to 10. Today, we are going to see some techniques where you don't have to memorize tables up to 10. It's very easy to learn tables up to 5. Now, the main problem comes when you're learning tables 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, let us start in the reverse way. So, first I'm going to teach you some technique about 9. So, we have a small technique which has been taught in schools where you just start from 0, 1, 2 and go up to 9. So, I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, now I'm going to jump onto the other row and start from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to 9. This comes my 9 table. 9 times 1 is 0, 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 3 is 27 and so on up to 9 times 10 as 90. This is a very nice technique and you can all learn it very easily. But is there anything which is even easier than this? Yes, there is. So, we are going to call it as the finger technique. Now, every one of us have 10 fingers. So, can you all put your hands this way? Okay. So, I start from 1. So, whenever I say 1, you are going to close the first finger. Next, 2. Then, 3, 4, 5. Then, I jump onto my other hand to start with 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, now I am going to show you, show you these hands on the board. So, you have my hands on the board and the numbers written on my fingers. So, suppose I want 9 times 5. So, I have my fifth finger. I am going to close my fifth finger. That is my little finger on my left hand. So, how many fingers are there before 5? 1, 2, 3 and 4. And then on the other hand, I have 5. So, the answer is 45. So, 9 times 5 is 45. Let us see another example. Suppose I want to take 9 times 7. So I am going to close my 7th finger. So how many fingers do I have before 7? Yes, it is 6. And how many fingers do I have after 7? That is 3. So my answer comes as 9 times 7 is 63. So this way you can find out the answer directly for any table on 9. Now moving on to table 7. Now you must be wondering why I am not telling about table 8 because it is not necessary to learn table 8 at all. Now let me have a small square, a 3 by 3 square as you can see on the board. Now let me start from the top right corner. So I will start with number 1, 1, 2, 3, jump to the next column 4, 5, 6. Again jump to the next column, 7, 8 and 9. Now I am already halfway through my table. I am going to start from the first column and I am going to now this time I am going to start with 0. 0, 1, 2. Since I ended with 2, I am going to start again with 2. 2, 3, 4. Jump to the next row. Since I ended with 4, I am going to start again with 4. 4, 5 and 6. And voila, here I have my table 7. So, I have my table 7 ready. 7 times 1, 0, 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 3, 21. 7 times 4, 28. 7 times 5, 35. 7 times 6, 42. 7 times 7, 49. 7 times 8, 56. And 7 times 9, 63. So, this way I cannot memorize tables, but I can learn using a small pattern on my 7 table. Now let us go to table 6. Now you don't have to memorize the entire table 6. We are going to learn only 6 times multiplied by 6, 6 times multiplied by 8. Okay, so 6 times 6. So I write my 6 as it is. Then for 6 times 8, I write 8 as it is. Now half of 6 is 3, right just before 3, right just before 6 and it is 36. And for my 6 times 8, I have to write just 4 before my 8 and it is 48. So now you have seen that 6 times 6 and 6 times 8 will do entire 6 table. Now you must be wondering why I haven't taught you the entire 8 table and 6 table. Suppose let us take a small example. Suppose I want 8 times 9. Now 
we know a property in mathematics that 8 times 9 is equal to 9 times 8. So since I have learned my 9 table, I don't need to learn 8 times 9. Let me take another example. Suppose I want 6 times 7. But we have learned 7 tables. 7 times 6 is 42 which came on the other end of 35. So using only 7 and 9 techniques, I can learn entire tables up to 10. So you have seen how easy these techniques are. And in the next episode, I'm going to come with few more techniques in learning tables up to 20. Yes, you heard me right. Learning tables up to 20 is as simple as learning tables up to 10. And don't forget to practice. Bye-bye.